new patch notes incoming from the pre-patch podcast. Make sure to check them out. And Bill, you, you brought up Avatar and we, we talked a little bit about, uh, or I mentioned like why my fear is because of movie games kind of being uh, a little sketch. And uh, well, let's talk about Evil Dead in a movie game that uh, lasted all of about a, a year. year. A year and four months. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think this is a fair representation of movie games exactly. No, no, because no, 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 it was either. such a no. niche genre of game to begin yeah. with yeah. and it's competing with a juggernaut that is dead by daylight still has a chokehold on that community. I, I have a feeling texas chainsaw massacre is going to do the exact same thing honestly i don't think it has enough yeah. uh, take off to be I, a I true think, competitor i think uh tcm has a, a bit of a better chance just because of of the namesake and, and some of the things they got going for them like they're uh maybe the man. game, game wise doing, they're doing some cool it's doing stuff well they're, it's not doing yeah, terrible I, I think it's doing well because just it's on because of the game pass aspect game pass, of it. that's that's why i i thought the evil but dead game pass launched players game aren't pass. loyal that they'll move on to something else and that's, the game will die yeah. And so I, I thought Evil Dead launched on Game Pass, but I was wrong. It didn't. Um, so I, I thought it, it. You know, that's why I was worried that you know it, it died so quickly because it was on Game Pass and they just all moved on. But I, I guess it just dwindled down. You know, not not enough player retention. In that, like you said, that community just has a chokehold on. Uh, on I it mean, much if, with DVD. If, yeah. if I'm looking at Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Steam, uh, Steam DB, it's not a good representation. No, no, though. I know, but what I'm, I'm just, I'm just literally pulling, um, from you know, uh, uh, you know, Steam. Like I said, I'm, just, I'm just looking at Steam and I'm comparing the two. I, yes, Dead by Daylight is a fucking juggernaut. At, at the last, uh, known count was five hundred and fifty nine thousand six hundred and nine. Uh, players there's 21,865 players in game currently texas chainsaw massacre has 4,000 people inside the game which is still i mean i'm look I'm, i mean that's still yeah that's still impressive i mean yeah they're it's, holding it's, that. it's not a it, you know that's that's not a uh and their all-time their all-time peak was 17,000 on steam alone um you know so i, I mean I, I don't know i mean i think that oh, i'm sorry right now actively they've got 21,000 on uh on dead by daylight so, you know, 4,000, 21,000, I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre has the legs to possibly continue. Um, the biggest thing that I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre is going to have a problem is, is that they, like, where do you grow the game? Because yeah. you're limited with the scope of the house. I mean, and like, where do you go even, from that? Even there, they've already added, like, two of the playable characters aren't actually characters in the movies that are just like lore based characters. So, so they're just kind of yeah. going on, on their own road. Yeah. yeah could, can they, yeah. do you think that they but could, it's not add? like that. It's not like dead by daylight where it's kind of an open ended universe where they could pull other. That's what, right. DVD, that's, what they, that's what DVD has. That's what I think DVD has over this and has had over this since it fucking released was really like, there's no way to get past the the Evil Dead franchise. Like you have yeah. to, yeah. it has to be seated in that war. You know, right. yeah. Same thing with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's, yeah, it's a weird place to be, and same thing with Friday the Thirteenth. Honestly, like you could have so many different yeah. varieties of Jason, yeah. but at the end of the day, your killer still has, day, to, be has to be Jason. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I I I have played this game. And is TCM. the servers are still going to be up for the Evil Dead? Just to it's clarify, just the they're just right. discontinuing uh, development. And I, which I didn't even know they were coming out with a Nintendo Switch version that is uh, no longer going to happen. Yeah, I yes. also. <laughs> what's sad about the uh, this is too is that I like I don't know it had a unique element of like how you played the game, but I also think that that I element actually was... really enjoyed this game's like gameplay loop, both from like the player and the killer perspective. Right, because in the killer perspective, you didn't play as like the killer. And like you would think, like you really kind of played as not like the all master, the time, right? As the mastermind, yeah. and then you could be able to take control over a certain, you know, uh, entity, um, you know, and kind of do things. So, yeah, I mean, it is sad, uh, you know, uh, whatever else. It's sad when any game dies. Yeah. So. Um, along with games dying, um, we have another one that is uh, also, I think, sad that I, I think is, um, you know, beholden to. Oh, uh, this was your guys's game. Yeah, it's yeah. beholden to this company right here. Um, I will say EA, I, mean, I think. But at the same time, it's also their development cycle. Like they they had some. Yeah, this issues. this is this is definitely not a surprise to me, considering 
it it was a good game like don't don't get me wrong when, when we when we reviewed uh wild hearts i had nothing but praise for it because i was like it's surprisingly a, a very competent i uh, monster hunter game yeah. right i think it'll get a sequel <clears throat> as well I, think uh, well maybe. I don't know we'll I see uh the the biggest the biggest problem that i had and even even back when we first i uh, reviewed it the biggest problem that i had was like looking at their future like content roadmap none of their content was new content it was all just like oh i mean there was a couple of new content there was a couple of new yeah they had the new and bird like and the new fog but Weren't predominantly that yeah that's that's what they... i was gonna say predom well no they, there there was one bird there's and then there was the fox that, that were two new they basically had two or three new I uh, kimonos or whatever they call them, but the rest of them were reskinned Reskins. versions of what we already right. had in the game. So it, it was just one of those things where it's like I did when when you posted this, I hadn't even seen this, but it wasn't a surprise. Like it, it really wasn't. I uh, they, they I think they had really unique uh gameplay mechanics where it was like the the uh the the paper mache or whatever they're called the the the, the building shit that they had. I can't remember what they called it. Um and the and the way that you vaulted onto things, but like, I don't know if that's enough to really ride the entire like life cycle of the game, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, I guess I just think the sad thing is, is that again, because if they would have put time into creating new monsters, um, the game could have been successful. Like that's all you had to do, yeah. you know, like I, and, and especially in a game space where like you are taking on a behemoth, like, you know, monster hunter, um, this, had a foothold like this had a a, yeah. a chance to kind of really it's good do it it's surprising. i don't think it succeeded i genuinely yeah. Do. it did yeah but i wouldn't i wouldn't say that it failed for sure yeah I, I it think did better it was... than like say god eater did like god eater sure. super yeah. niche compared to this right yeah. definitely definitely did better than fucking i dauntless man <laughs> well yeah and that's well, for well, dauntless shot dauntless, itself yeah. in the foot yeah, by exactly saying, fuck you to its community right. yeah yeah so I don't know. I mean, again, it, it's just sad because it, the development cycle of what, you know, they needed to do one of which, which they still have, I, I, from what I've heard from the community, if you go on their Reddit, it's still an issue. Like there are still like gameplay buggy Blaring issues, bugs, right? Yeah. Like they just didn't fix, um, <clears throat> you know, but like, uh, you know, you get that fixed and then literally just, you could stay in the same fucking universe, the world, the map. So you don't need to create a whole, like just dump new fucking creatures. Like that's I just, you know, boom, yeah. man, just keep it coming. Like, you know, or whatever else. And I think you could have, not, really not just succeeded. that, like take the, take the route of like monster on a world where like monster on a world. Yes. It had a, a lot of monsters, right? Like it had a lot of monsters to hunt. They had a, they had a preexisting like mythos and a pre-existing like roster of people or of uh, monsters that you could fight <clears throat> so they had that going for them already right but on top of that they also had like i uh, the the witcher 3 mashup that they did where you could become you could get the Geralt uh, uh skin and you could get the series skin right. and everything like that and then they on top of that they also pulled in uh, a witcher 3 monster yeah, man, they, they so should like, have just done a uh with battlefront they should have just combined those two games why didn't they do that yeah, yeah. <laughs> put storm troopers My, Mine, hunt, minecraft hunt, hunt, and ATST. <laughs> so anyway i don't know man i mean Maybe this is a game that could live. Well, I don't think EA allows for mods like that, but uh, no, no, they never. I, I do think it'll get a sequel, though. I think it was think? a big enough success. Yeah, we'll see, man. I'm not sure. No. Uh, I hope it. I hope it kind of gets something and, and and something leaks. Thanks for checking out the patch notes, and if you enjoyed yourself, make sure you stop by when we do this live every Thursday at 10:30 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube and Twitch. Or if you missed out on the show, you can always go to anchor.fm/prepatchpodcast or any of your podcast apps. Thanks.